Welcome back to Timberborn. And this is going to be something a little bit different. So this is probably going to be about a video a week, maybe a bit less. Um, let's get set up and started. I'm looking for a big map. Ash, maybe Helix Mountain. Yeah, we'll play Helix Mountain. Um, I'll play Helix Mountain or Terraces. Terraces would work. Or Helix Mountain. I haven't really decided. I just had this like this idea on a whim. We'll go Helix Mountain because that's that's quite a nice map. Um, I'm going to play on normal mode, which I don't normally do. Um, which is part of the something slightly different. So let's hit go. What else is going to be different about this? So the reason this is going to be less frequent is I. So one of the things that I really enjoy doing in Timberborn and I don't get time or the chance often in my normal Let's Play series is how to or the, the thing that I enjoy doing is mega builds. Um, I have done a few larger builds in some of the series as we get later on, but not really transforming the map significantly and i would like to have a go at showing you some of that the problem is that to do that i need to spend a lot of time playing now that's not a problem i enjoy spending a lot of time playing but i can't video it all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of start a few bits and then we'll jump forwards a bit and then I'll show you where I am and what I'm doing. And then maybe we'll jump forwards a bit more. And that's why it's probably going to be a once a week video. Um, and I'm really interested in what people think about that kind of style. But what I'm hoping is that you'll be able to see me attempt to completely transform a map. So, yeah. So we're playing on normal. We're playing with the Iron Teeth. Um, Helix Mountain has been completely reworked. It's been played quite a lot by different people because it has been completely reworked. Um, I've got a bunch of mods installed and basically what I'm going to do now is um, get the basics of the colony set up, get ourselves established so that we can survive and then I'll uh, I'll come back and we'll start thinking about how we're going to progress to being able to do some cool stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get the basics of the colony sketched out, get it, maybe get through a couple of the initial cycles and we'll come back and work on where we go from there. So... We're on cycle three now, so I have made a fair bit of, I guess, kind of basic progress getting ourselves established. Um, got some water pumps put in. We've got our first dam put in. Um, been farming whole rabbies very heavily, and we've got a pretty good supply of those. Um, because we're on easy mode, I've actually gone pretty early for three breeding pods and the population is growing, which is cool. Um, have made it over to this side of the river where there was a nice stock of oaks and probably what I think we should do, just let's let the game run a bit because we've got a lot to do. Let's stick in a, um, a step ladder there so we can get up to those as well. Um, I have also planned another dam here to uh, to flood this area. Um, it feels to me it's a lot. It's looking a lot like the start to JC the Beard series on here, and I think that's just a feature of how the map works. Um, because the other thing that I'm doing is in preparation for the first bad tide. Let me get the uh, let me get show, so show, shows you what we're building. I am putting a diagonal wall of floodgates across here so that we can push bad water through this channel, the same as JC did. Um, we've got some bits being, some dams and some levees being built here to hold water in here. Yep. And we've got a diversion wall put in here. I stupidly, I've wasted a whole load of science. I unlocked the level one floodgates and realized I needed them to be level two. And really what I want is them to be level three because I remember when JC did this, he had issues with the volume of bad water coming through. So that's the the kind of short term what I'm working on. My plan actually is um, to 
divert the bad water and I did wonder if I could if I could get across here I would have done this first but there's a lot of bridging and stuff to do to uh, just put some dams across here and push the bad water out actually across here and just push the bad water out through here into this river basin um, again I think that's kind of what JC has ended up doing as well um really what you need to do is just try and get the bad water shifted out as quickly as possible and maybe we'll re re-terraform this and bring the fresh water down here i'm not sure yet i've not really worked out what i want to do i just want to build some big stuffs and i find that's really hard on a lot of my normal let's plays because it takes a really long time to get to that point and you know i kind of feel that at that point I don't know so some different things because we're playing with the folk tales and i haven't played with the folk tales at the back end of update 5 particularly we've got the new kind of large power wheel conan's wheel type thing it can generate a lot of power but does need a lot of beavers and i made the classic rookie mistake of placing the water wheels in an area where they get really bad water flow so yeah that wasn't that wasn't my brightest moment um so basically that's where we are with the colony. I think what I'm going to do, and I'm don't know if this idea, if this approach is going to work particularly for a video series. So I just had to sneeze. Um, yeah, I don't know if this approach is really gonna work for a video series, but I thought I'd give it a try because I do like doing big builds. So we like big builds and I cannot lie. So what I think I'm going to do is um carry on playing for a bit um get this stuff done um we're, we're a little bit yeah actually i'm a little bit like the uh where the other series is at the point where i'm recording some i'm just finished recording episode eight of the the, the normal series and i'm kind of at that point you know i'm short wood basically um the I, I did the, a similar thing i planted a mixture of birch pine and oak and the pines are now actually starting to come in the oaks are a reasonable way off yet but um kind of priority is actually priority is building all of this so i'm curious as to why they have uh oh we need planks so we need this guy running um which probably means we need you in there as well so we are now five beavers short uh, which are coming from one, two, three, four, five. Okay, not brilliant. We do need science to be churning, really. But, oh, well, we need planks. So this whole thing is essentially a priority before we get to our first bad tide. I'm not sure when the first bad tide comes on normal mode. The other thing that's throwing me is how long these temperate seasons are. We had, we're having like nine day temperate seasons, which is just feels crazy to me um it feels a little bit crazy it's cool don't get me wrong i like it but it feels a bit weird um so probably what i'll do is um i suspect they'll get this built they'll probably go back and build this um we need some scaffolding really to build this up and at the moment i have none of this unlocked i really we need probably 150 science for that and 500 of that so we need like 650 science and at the moment we don't have enough beavers to be doing any science so um i did put in two farmhouses so that we could farm quickly at the start and that that did pay off i think um that did pay off quite well really um we got a lot of food stockpiles you can see we've got like 600 food um we've got a reasonably good water supply considering how short the droughts are and uh yeah it's kind of i'm leaving these trees i'm just going to see if they 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 expand a bit you know see if that works um obviously when we get a bad tide with our current approach all of this is going to die but a lot of this might get re profiled anyway obviously our main water source is down here but I think it might not end up being Helix Mountain by the time we've finished. Um, I've not really explored the reworked map too much. So I mean, we'll, to get metal, we can come up here. We can get metal off of there. That'll be okay. Um, 
there is just a there is a lot of space to work with um bad tide sources there's a couple here that's going to be good for getting our early bad water bad water sources there's one here uh there's a pl there's plenty of mines and stuff oh there's another water source over here by the looks of things that's interesting had missed that we will be making use of that at some point. More bad water over here. Yeah, it, it's a big old map. It's a big old map and it's an interesting one. And what oh, they've got that built, they're getting these built. That's good. Um, I want to automate this, but it, it's tricky with the flow of bad water. So we'll kind of put in probably I'll probably put in a couple of stream gauges and we'll see how that works. But because these are diagonal, it's a bit of a fact to get them to work, basically. Um, probably at the very least what we should do is when a drought starts have them go up to one um, so that we trap water in here that's probably wise I think because um, that'll, that'll just keep some of this these trees growing which we kind of need can he reach he can reach all the way up there so uh, you can as well. I put an excessive number of lumberjacks in initially. I kind of always do that. Um, we could plant a few more trees in here. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to keep playing, and uh, we'll keep making some progress on this. And I'll be back when we've got this done. Maybe when we get to our first bad tide, and we'll see how we go with that. Just starting cycle six and things are just kind of progressing a little bit. We've got to the weird point where we're really struggling for food and we're up to we're up to 41 beavers and food has become a bit of an issue. Um, I switched to planting some cassavas and we do now have a fermenter here. So this area has changed a little bit. I've crossed the river with... Um, compact water wheels these generate a reasonable amount of power during the temperate seasons so that's okay and we've still got our conan's wheel here when we need it we we will need that actually i had it running to power the fermenter and i've put in another lumber mill and a gear workshop so that's kind of that but yeah the, the food's been a bit touch and go we've been eating berries which is you know obviously not awesome uh, but kind of is what it is. I think probably I at this point should pause a couple of the breeding pods because our population is growing quite quickly. Uh, we are still short of workers, so <laughs> there is that. Um, but that might just be down to me needing to manage things better. I've got this huge oak forest over here now, which is uh, pretty cool. Should keep us in plenty of wood. Um, and then over here, our, our floodgates got built. Our dam got built here. Now, actually, I'm not too worried about being short of workers. I just realized that I built a, a hauling post and maxed it out. So that's built. That doesn't, that this time it has just about lasted the drought that we've just come out of. But previous time that did not last the whole drought. Um, so long term, need to make that deeper. Okay. Um, and we got our bad tide, our first bad tide defense built. We have not had a bad tide yet and we are on cycle six and I, I i was expecting by now we would have had a bad tide so i built this but um once i got that built i've also built a dam down here so we've got this area now that should stay hydrated to some extent and i put in a couple of swimming pools for some well-being so the beavers are a bit happier but you'll see we have a staircase that goes up here. So a mixture of ladders and staircases. Um, <laughs> I built some storage up here because I was running out of space. So we have gears, planks and logs stored up here. But that's okay because if we follow this windy path uh, all the way across the helix, uh, we've got some tree cutting going on over here because we need lumber. Um, I, I decided that we would try and cut off the bad tide on the last kind of lap of the helix um, and so we have started that so and we'll hit the go button now while it gets itself organized we actually want these to be down so the water comes through um, 
yeah, we we have got the start of a bad water diversion going on. So, and yeah, bas basically this whole thing is going to fill with bad water except this, and it's then going to push it off the map this way and through this stream and out there. Um, ideally, obviously, we'll we'll work a bit more because we have there's kind of natural low spots in here where we can maybe manage diverting things a little bit earlier but at the very least we can stop it here so it's not perfect by a long shot but it is it's a a start so yeah uh basically i still have a long way to go before we can get into doing kind of cool mega buildy type stuff this is this is all still laying the foundations for getting this this save set up it, it is taking a while actually it is taking a while uh once we get water so i need to manually open these at the moment i have not automated them we do need to get to that all, all i've done at the moment is i have automated you can see it's just right out just before the water gets it um because it does take a while for the water to get around the helix so um yeah i've automated them closing when a drought starts and a bad side starts if we get a bad side, but not, um, I've not automated them to the way. Uh, yeah, I, I need to sort out the food situation. The food situation kind of sucks. We have three farms now. I, uh, it feels like this should be a big enough area to feed 40 beavers on normal. So I'm kind of confused as to why it's not. There is. There's not, you know, ridiculous amounts of grown food in the ground. So I am, I'm I'm kind of confused. Uh, let's plant some more cassavas up here. I'm gonna try and leave a bit of a bit of a gap to the uh, along there. Not that we need actually, because we've got a path that runs straight across, but. Yeah, so this is running now, so we can pause the Conan's wheel and we'll get some plank production going. Um, yeah. So the way that I'm making these videos, and this this probably this first video is maybe not the best one because it's very it's jumping about a lot. I'm, I'm also just leaving this to see if this turns into a magical forest full of trees. I might have to actually obliterate it so I can farm it. We'll see. Um, yeah, the way I'm filming these is it may or may not be obvious. And the reason that I said I'd probably try and do one video a week, we'll see how that works out, I guess, is um, I'm recording a segment. And then as I, as, you know, I kind of just playing for fun in between because I really love playing this game. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, I guess actually we could think about um, if I were to block off here next, and let's just pause and we'll see if we can plan because this is much shallower, so this should be quicker to build. So let's do that. I'll, I'll let them finish that. Yeah, I think we could just do some. I was going to say single height, but it feels like we should do double height so that they go above. So if we did that, that would stop it there. And then we might want to put some across here as well, just to stop it pushing back. Um, so we need to put in... In the water when it's flowing, it's actually very shallow, but... No, I think I do think I do sometimes sometimes I think uh, and realistically actually don't want to move that to the, there no because it's going to get trapped otherwise we're just going to have to work this out slowly I think but if we can push it off that one we then need to block over here um, it's going to come across well, if we do it here, let's let's start with thinking about blocking it here. That's going to bring it up uh, across. So probably 
it's just going to push the whole thing up to that level but i could control that with some levies so i think we could go across somewhere here um doubles would do for this if i control it properly go back here so we'll do doubles there we'll do triples to there and then we'll do a single there we shouldn't need the single but and then what we would need to do is build a wall of until we get terraforming anyway build a wall of levies like that probably a staircase down there so we can build those let's delete that and we'll put in a ladder I can get to that one so what this should allow us to do once it's built and we might not get it built before we get a bad tide but anyhow uh, is now we can stop the bad tide here This levy wall can work. Let's just sanity check this. Yeah, yeah, that should work. Um, this levy wall is going to force it to go down here. These dams should force it to go over here. Brilliant. So another really long range building project, which is not so great do have a bunch of resources staged through here i'm going to cancel the deletion of these we'll just let the bad side obliterate them i think it's not worth worrying about deleting a few birch trees in my mind we've got much more important things to do by building all of this so and uh, we want those to default to down and those to us down at the moment and uh, yeah we will automate all of this as well because that's what i enjoy doing so uh, and I, I think this is probably the sensible way to build this to stage our way back across the uh you know and ultimately we'll need that explosives once we get further back here the, these these work because they've got natural drops in them i think they're gonna work i've not tried it before and uh yeah if I'm copying someone else's that you've watched, it's because I don't pay attention that much to when other people play. The, I, I listen to, pe to YouTube a lot. So, uh, yeah, I, I think other people that are playing on Helix Mountain have done something like this because it's the obvious thing to do. It's the way the map is set up at first. And uh, once we get into explosives, we can do much crazier things. Um, I know, Bill, if you're watching this, you've done something a bit like this. And... Uh, as as we unlock more things we can do more craziness so probably the next we really need to sort this food situation out as much as i like this experiment i think we need to clear these trees off which is what we're gonna do oh we've run out of water as well geez uh pause Pump water, folks, please. I need to unpause when temperate starts on these. There we go. Oh, how to look super slick, hey? Hey, I'm doing a big mega build series. No, all my beavers died of dehydration on cycle six. On cycle six, day six, and we have no water. That's not good. Thankfully, the cycles are quite long, and hopefully our three pumps will very quickly refill our population let's prioritize building this it just marked my cutting air we'll, we'll clear cut this and we'll start farming it i think i'll put another farmhouse in and uh yeah we'll get even more farming going on so a, a build project like this is not great either because you know it takes so long because the beavers having to travel so far or saying that they've got those built so maybe it's not so far um can they get to these probably can we can help them out with a path underneath the uh 
underneath there. They should be able to build all of that now. That'll take as long as it takes, you know. Um, not a lot we can do about that. If I need to, I could always pump water out of this bit once when we get into the drought because they are not keeping up. I think maybe we should look at building at least one more water pump, maybe two. So this, the, the iron teeth have the disadvantage and it, I've never thought of the iron teeth water pumping ability as a disadvantage. They can go deep, but what they can't do is what the folktales one do. They don't have the big pump that uses more beavers to produce a lot of water. So yeah, we're not in a great situation. We're not in a great situation. Oh, maybe having a few beavers die won't be a bad. Should I say that? No, you didn't hear me say that. Um, yeah, we'll get that done before we do too much more. I want to get food stabilised. And the other thing that we need to start looking at is metal. We have this little bit of metal here, but it's really not that much. Um, every map I'm playing on, the starter colony is so far from a good supply of metal. It's insane. Or am, am I missing a... There's a big pile there. Yeah, that's probably the next good one. I should pay more attention when I watch people play these maps. Yeah. We need to get a start on some metal work. So... We've got, we've got enough science to unlock the scavenger flag at least. So we can start getting some scrap metal stored up. So we'll put another large industrial pile just here. We've got 11 well-being. Wow. That's the benefit of giving your beavers some water. So, yeah, we have, we have two hauling posts, but the second one is kind of short of beeves. I'm really hoping that we're going to see a bad tide this time. Not that we're properly ready for it yet. Um, and we've got three days. I'm wondering if I should get them to prioritize building this diversion wall over the floodgates. Um, because it won't flood back up all the way. So we could then use these and these. And uh, if they've not built this, that's okay. What I'm going to have to do is cut the path at some point if we do get a bad tide so that the beavers can't um can't come down actually they, yeah we don't want them going down into here to work on the floodgates everything else is above the water level because of bad water so um and uh, i've got this guy working because we we need wood over here so why not mine it locally harvest it locally mine wood Okay, um, I guess I'll come back if we get a, a bad tide notification. If not, I'm going to finish building this layer of defences and uh, try and work on securing our food supply. The the small trees that have cropped up are just going to demolish because I want to get farming this area. So. There we go. That's that cleared. So let's plant more cassavas because we don't seem to be able to keep up with that. And then I'll have a look at some more food diversification. Um, see if that helps. Um, and just actually let's have a look food I've almost, so we, we need to get into canola oil really next 
to go beyond what we're what we're doing for food at the moment but it'd just be nice to have a a solid supply of food so i'm actually going to plant all of that as well now we'll run a path through there as well and uh, assuming that once that's empty we can put another farmhouse there everything's just getting eaten as soon as it is grown the water's back up so i'm not too worried about water now um this generates a fair bit of power not huge but you know baptized a three days to go so i will see you in three days one well less than one day to go to the drought i've kicked in a 24 hour work day to see if we can get these floodgates finished i also pushed this up a little bit higher so hopefully we can make this cascade into here we'll see how that works out it might not but yeah we've got a fair few um big floodgates to build so yeah this it, we might not get this finished we might end up just relying on this one um or this plus whatever naturally restricts the bad water from from coming through but we'll see um yeah we're not gonna get that finished are we so let, let's kill off the 24 hour work day let's every beaver go home delete some oh don't go down there so we have a one day bad tide let's see how what we've got built works are we so we're going to close that we're going to close that and we may as well close what we've got built um so let's see what happens just in case i am going to close these up as well so yeah uh, it's only one day we could leave these guys pumping. We don't, probably don't need all of them pumping. So this is obviously going to kill off all of the... Uh, maybe not. It's probably going to kill all of the, the nature here. And uh, you can see it is... It's sort of doing what I want it to do. Um, With a little bit of backwash. So... Um, yeah, we, we we are... Actually, those are just dehydrating, so... And it might take a little while for this to clear as well, and I might end up flushing the system through with some some slightly toxic water. But um, I think that'll be okay. I mean, this is all staying pretty fresh, so... Yeah, we might be okay. Even without all of these built. This has, you know, the, the colony is blissfully ignorant and uh, we're back to clean water. So what we'll do is we'll let this flush through. Um, there's only a little bit back here, actually, that's mildly toxic. So I think we're going to be OK once it's once it's flushed. And uh, we could save ourselves a bit of a loop and... Uh, but actually, I will keep that stuff hydrated. So yeah, once this is cleared through, first bad tide survived. Awesome. So project number one worked. It pushed bad water through that way, which is kind of what I wanted. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy with how that worked. Um. Obviously, water hasn't made it down here yet, but that's okay. We can... Uh, should have put some stream gauges in. It's kind of hard to tell how clean that is. I mean, this is not super clean, but I think we can open these up and uh, let water go around that way. And uh, that should push this through then and we'll get clean water here. So. It's not actually intoxicating anything, so we might be okay. They can go down. Uh, 
Yeah. Happy with that. And then, honestly, this is not quite so pink. There we go. Bit of a surge. And if we use stream gauges, this should all automate itself. So there we go. Let's just let that go. It'll dilute out enough that I don't think it's going to cause us a problem. Um, and we can put the path back and they can carry on building this. So there we go. And they can finish building those last two floodgates. But that worked really well. And uh, that looks pretty clean. So I think we can do that. And... Uh, there we go. Let's just flood the whole colony, shall we? Wasn't so great, and we need to open these back up. It's so, so weird playing on normal difficulty with, you know, like a one day bad tide. It's, it's, uh, it barely even did anything in terms of killing off stuff. So, yeah. And then the other thing that I wanted to do is then put in another farmhouse so that we can uh, we can farm the food that we're growing quicker. We now have a bit of a food stockpile, so that's good. Um, I think I'm going to stop this video here because it's a bit of an experiment. So in the future, they might be longer. We'll see. I'll see how see how people feel about this one. So if you've watched this, let me know what you think about this kind of idea. Um, it's going to make more sense once we get into huge projects that take many many cycles to complete because they're really hard to do when you're just playing normally so yeah definitely comments questions suggestions thoughts stick them below and uh i will see you next time